we never had that power of having a broadcast forum in the palm of our hands before. Maybe you told your friends, you posted on a website here or there, your, your uh, experiences that happened. They, this generation has a lot of power and then they're sharing a lot too, why? Well, just for that reason alone, right? They've got a lot of power. It's kind of terrifying to think about it. I know, I don't know what I would have done with that level of power when I was their age, but it doesn't, it doesn't change the fact that people are using it. And in this situation, in a lot of situations, people are actually recording themselves getting fired. And there was one in particular that came out not that long ago of, of somebody that was getting fired by somebody, by two people that she didn't know. Um, she was claiming that she'd been there for just a couple of months and was training the whole time. So it, it creates this weird kind of dynamic between the employer and the employee as to whether or not you defend that and also whether or not it makes sense long term for somebody to actually publicize such a thing. What happened in that case? Well, I mean, she got let go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I think the rub here is that that you got to think about what happens after this. Right. What am I doing? You know, these days when somebody moves jobs and you want to verify or, 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 or make sure that their work history is accurate, you call. And all that they can do is basically tell you time of employment, right? It doesn't really give you any information. So the first thing you do is you check the internet. Well, there's not much that's going to happen that's going to remove this from the first thing that that, that that somebody pulls up on a search engine when they put in her name. And you got to take that into account. Maybe it doesn't matter because there's also the case that this was for content or for clicks and that because mm -hmm. that, she has a social media following. So there's, there's a lot of different dynamics that, that, that play in here. It seems like the employer is in a kind of the hot seat as well in these, um, you know, tense or uncomfortable situations. How can they protect themselves and how can they be, um, you know, making sure they don't end up on TikTok? Yeah, I mean, the simplest thing is just to be honest and transparent with people. Um, and again, I'm not saying I don't know who's right or wrong in this case, right. but I think in general, if you treat people reasonably, you communicate with what's going on. You don't send people that they don't know to let them go. I mean, these are these are difficult situations that are obviously going to affect people emotionally. And you've got to respect that going in and, and, and demonstrate some empathy. I think at the end of the day, companies that, that are value integrity and are, are okay with the idea of doing the right thing all the time, they're going to be just fine. Yeah. So, so address this with kindness, um, hopefully on both <laughs> uh, sides of this situation. What would you tell the employer? What would you tell the employee to do? Well, I think from a from a, a, a an employee perspective, make sure that you're thinking about this long term. Yeah. Also, if you have a severance agreement or something that might be tied to to your, uh, your 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 layoff, then make sure you're not violating something like that. On the employer side, like I said, just just be real. Mm -hmm. Recognize that you might be sitting on the other side of that conversation someday, and how you would want to be treated, uh, and make sure that you're communicating a lot through the process. And yeah, it's not a great situation, but we've all been through it. And, and if, as long as you, you, you follow some simple steps, you're going to look back and think that you, you navigated it pretty well. Yeah, not all endings have to be in terrible situations in that way. They can be handled well. And then, you know, not be exciting enough for the Internet. <laughs> Joel, thank you so much. It sure is an interesting time and place. I'm glad I did not have any form of social media when I was a young kid coming up. <laughs> thank you.